right, we're heading to Bunnings to buy boxes and to pack up the caravan to send everything home from Melbourne to Perth because we sold the caravan. How exciting! This is what we want. I don't know what boxes we need yet, but let's have a look. Lots to choose from. This is the current situation. It's raining outside, so boxes have to be in here. Cupboards up there are empty. Cupboards down there are slightly empty. Just left what I need, and this is sorting out, and that is rubbish. So, yeah, it's all going here, happening. All right, so all cupboards are finally clean, but have a look at the state of the caravan. It's it's a shambles. The starters, I can't be bothered washing the mat right now, so it's feral, but nothing is in a cupboard. And old mate here is cooking dinner. There's only one cupboard up there, that cupboard, a drawer, and another drawer that has stuff in it. That is it. Oh, and our clothes. Everything is in a box or on top of a box. Yeah. It's fun times around here. Can't beat a bit of uh, pizza on our homemade table over here. How good's that? Nice caravan, all bloody messy still. Yeah. Ooh. Where are you going to sit, darling? On the floor? Stand up. Okay, you stand up then. <laughs> well, Tanaya is packing up our bedroom. It's a bloody mess, but those cupboards are empty, so that is a win. But how many people, when they move house, say that both them and their partner's clothes can all fit in one box? Bet you no know one. We do have two piles, one here and one here of stuff that we will wear between now and getting home. So that's pretty good. It's a win, I reckon. Today is the day that somebody, the first people are coming to look at the caravan to possibly buy it. We are officially caravan ready. You've seen what a shit show it has been this week. Now it looks beautiful. Hey, bathroom's all clean. Living room's all clean. No boxes, some beautiful flowers. Kitchen's all clean. Michael's not clean. Bedroom's all clean. Um, but then have a look at this. That's everything we own. <laughs> but, yep, today's going to be good day, guys. Good day. He's off to school today. He's going to get his truck license, guys. Whoop, whoop. All right. So, can you tell the people what you just did? I uh, accepted the offer for the caravan. We just accepted an offer for the caravan. This beast is getting sold. Like, oh, my God. How exciting. So we sold the caravan yesterday and we've gone and done this today. Just wait for it guys. Oh yep, you can see a little box trailer there with a rooftop tent on it. Wonder what might be happening.
So today is the day before we are handing the caravan over. So I'm just doing a little bit of preparation. I have to wipe everything down because we had to bomb it because we have had ant infestation, like it's out of control. I'll show you what the cupboard looks like. I don't know if you can see that in there. Hold on, let's even turn the flash on. There you go. That's all ants. Yep. So we had to bomb it to get rid of all them. But um, I'm just preparing everything. All the fruit and veggies in here ready to go in the car fridge. Wiping out the fridge. Getting my bloody cold brew coffee ready in my um, bottle. And yeah, wiping all the cupboards out. Everything's already empty. Um, so we're just basically wiping everything down from all the dew from the bomb. And then getting everything ready in our car and our trailer, ready for our journey home. So super exciting times. It doesn't feel real yet. It might feel real when we are living in the trailer and we can't just come in the van and, you know, have comfort, creature comforts. So yeah, we'll see. But yeah, come along for this new journey of ours. I don't know why I didn't talk in this video. But I was basically just packing the trailer ready for the drive back to Western Australia. Michael was out buying a battery to put in the front toolbox to run our lights, water pump and hot water system. Sad. Just had to kick Michael out of the bed so he wouldn't bloody get up. I said, it's not your bed anymore. Get out. Anyway, time to pack our bedding up and move it into the trailer. <laughs> sad days, sad days. Fridge. Freezer all empty and turned off. Wash my hair because I'm not going to have that luxury for the next month. Uh, I think I'm going to go through all the cupboards and triple check this morning that everything's done toilet's been emptied might need michael's tower should just leave it here leave him here too yeah all right all right our last walk through our caravan all empty all smelling beautiful for the new owners all the million keys that we have Hmm. I think I'm actually going to cry walking away from this. Our very first ever home has done us well for the last 14 months. I'm actually tearing up now. Oh. On to bigger and better things, I guess. Michael's out there. Packing up as well. All right. Bye, Caravan. We love you. We've had some great times here. And now you're going to go on to a new family and have some more great times. love our little trailer off-road it doesn't really it's not really off-road but um where we are currently right now in victoria one it's friggin freezing and two it the, car the caravan i'm so used to saying caravan the trailer struggled a little bit coming up here but um yeah we know its limits and maybe we won't push it too much so yeah oh yeah and look this is our chocks um this is three max tracks and then woods to hold it there and our little gas bottle so this is what happens at camp when you just leave your caravan, sold it, and you throw everything into your trailer. Are you ready for it? We're at a national park. We've taken everything out of the trailer and we're sorting it all out. Maybe downsizing some boxes and Michael is fixing a few leaks in the trailer. So 
How good's that? Everyone's probably staring at us like, what the fuck? They probably think we're homeless. Technically, we are. What you looking for? Oh, yeah, we'll be in that box somewhere. Just a little bit of ice on the roof of the car here, but have a look. Everything else is just defrosting. It's a very beautiful morning, I will give it that, but can I already have my caravan back, please? I don't like this. What do you think of the situation? <laughs> yeah, it's 9am. I think it's actually like 10 past 9 or something, but still. Alright, so as you can see, our boxes are in here. This was the main reason we bought the trailer, was we, it cost $2,000 to send all our boxes home back to WA from Melbourne. So we thought, well, why not buy a box trailer that's the same price that we could guarantee, um, not guarantee, but like that we would be able to get some money back rather than wasting $2,000 to send all these boxes home. So we bought the box trailer. This one popped up that had the rooftop tent and a kitchen on the other side. We'll show you that in a minute. But over here, as you can see, we have our boxes um, and this has three shelves. So there's one box in here, two box, and then the third that little mini shelf up there that just has our old caravan wing mirrors and caravan like um, side awning. So... Here is our angle, um, not angle, we bought this one from King's. We do have a battery system coming for it just from iTech. One of those portable ones that can um, charge the fridge up to three days and then you can just plug it in your car to charge it up. We have a battery system in here as well, just in the toolbox there, um, that runs all these lights that were already here. Um, so most of the stuff you're looking at, which isn't a lot in here, was already here. And then we just have these... Um, things here that fold down just to protect you while you are driving so yeah while we're building our bus this will be our little there we go this will be our little getaway for weekends and stuff so we can still do what we love um and it's easily accessible the tent's all right it's not not the best, greatest not the worst so yeah our washing basket solar panel will charge that battery there and then same thing this one here will come down anyway this is the outside. This is the awning off our car. Our 360 awning, I'm pretty sure it is, from Bushman's. Got our fire pit. And then here we have the box at the front where Michael keeps the fire pit, our water hoses, the battery like I just showed you. And I think firewood's under there, to be honest. So, yeah, that's really good. It's got three jerry can holders. And it also has 100 litres of water. And it has these switches for lights. You can turn that all off there. That's run by that battery. And it has a hot water system. So that is amazing. And there is a little thing in the front here, this hose here. It actually is a shower. So that could reach potentially to the back of the trailer. Um, I put this here. That was from the caravan. That was from the caravan. But there is a sink under that. That was already there. They were already there. So this is our bathroom slash kitchen supply stuff and in here it does look a bit like a shit sherry but that's all our that's our grab me gear bag um but that's all our cooking and stuff in there and in here is all our other utensils so there are fruit and veggies in there because they're not fitting in our car fridge while we're waiting for the battery for the king's fridge um but yeah everything else essentially is in here um and that is a cupboard that can come and close we just have it Pitched up there so it stays open and then we also have this drawer so in here is our butane for our gas cooker our other butane for our mozzie repellent toilet stuff headlights bathroom stuff and then our glad wrap and stuff bathroom stuff again so that's really handy there michael put this little handle on for me because it just hurt my fingers trying to open it all the time and then over here is our kitchen. This little table came with it, perfect for our gas cooker. Um, this is one we've had for a long time anyway. And then we use our table for eating slash cutting up, prepping, whatnot on there. And this was also from the caravan, which is quite handy just to dry out our towels. And that's our bath cloth. 
Um, but yeah, super, super cool, especially because we've got hot water. And up here as well is some more storage. So our fire pit stuff, oh, fire pit um, blanket thingy, I don't know what you call it, is there. And our fire pot is there. Um, but yeah, it has everything that we had in the caravan in here. And this will be a great little weekend away. Still have our chairs, which all went in the back. And I'll give you a look from over here. 